So in the 14th lesson, we still have to look at this Vyakarana section. Um, so three vibhaktis have been introduced in this lesson. If you look at this lesson, uh, first is Aham Chitram Pashyami. So let me go back here. Ha. Vayam Shirasa Devam Namamaha. In this sentence, if you look at this sentence, Vayam Shirasa. Shirasa is in uh, uh, Tritiya Vibhakti. And then Devam Namamaha. Devam is in, uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, it, it is in uh, Dvitiya Vibhakti. Okay. So he introduced, this lesson has introduced us to second Vibhakti and the Tritiya Vibhakti, third Vibhakti. There is also the seventh Vibhakti as in Kutrasti, uh, Karayoho Iti. Ha. Padayoho Pancha Pancha Angulyaha Santi. Karayoho Pancha Angulyaha Santi. Iti, there are there is the seventh vibhakti introduction also, Saptami Vibhakti in this. So the meaning there is in, on, at. He has picked out in this book, they have picked out the second vibhakti words here. So Devam, Rasam, Gandham, Shabdam, Karma. You'll have to find now if you can, if one of you can tell me. Uh, what Pullingam, Vibhakti and give me the other two uh, numbers also. If it is Eka Vachanam, then give me Dvi Vachanam, Bahu Vachanam for these words. Hmm? Devaha. Ah. Um, Devam is Dvitiya Vibhakti, Eka mm -hmm. Vachanam. Okay. Um, so you go with Akaranth of Pullingaha, Deva Shabdaha, Dvitiya Vibhakti, Eka Vachanam. That's your uh, okay. Akaranth method. Akaranth of Pullingaha. Viva Deva Shabdha Ekavachanam. Uh, Bahuvachanam is Devam. Ah, Devam, Devam, Devau, Devan. Uh, Devau, I forgot Devan. Ah. Yeah. Devan is Bahuvachanam. Yeah, okay. So, okay. so, Bhaskar Garu, so what you have to do is so like Mahote is saying, you have to introduce the word in a certain Paddati, which is you have to say, hmm. Akaranta Pullinga, don't stop there. Then you should hmm. say Deva Shabdha. So, that's the full Parichaya. Akaranta okay. Pulinga Deva Shabda. That's the standard. Then you have to say Devam Iti Dvitiya Vibhakti Hi Eka Vachanam. And then she wants you to say what is Dvivachanam and Bahuvachanam as well. So you have to say Devam Devau Devan. You have to okay. say like that. So it's the full structure of what you do. And you encounter the word, you give the parichay of the word like Akaranta Pulinga or Ikaranta. And you have to say Deva Shabda, Hari Shabda, etc. fully. And then you do it in a systematic way. Okay. Yeah. Paddhati. He said use the word Paddhati. No? So it is it is a methodology because it it uh, uh, it will be very useful later also. So the moment you look at the word Akaranta Pullingaha, Deva Shabdaha. Deva is the root word. This is going to be useful later. Today you may not understand why I'm insisting on this Paddhati. It, later you will understand when you read uh, Samasam or Sandhi uh, it will it will automatically be registered in your brain. You will need that. We'll, we'll definitely follow. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ha. Next one, Rasam. Anybody else wants to try? Ramesh Mode, do you want to do? Oh, yeah. Ha, yeah. Paravala. Rasam. Enna shabdan teri mali omgla ke. Akaranta, pullinga ha, rasa ha. Rasa shabda ha. Don't say rasa ha. Rasa mm. Shabda, mm. um, Dvivachanam. No, no, Dvitiya Vibhakti. Dvitiya Vibhakti and then uh, Rasam. Ah, Eka Vachanam, Dvivachanam or Bahu Vachanam. That you have to tell me. Uh, uh, rasam Eka Vachanam. Okay. Uh, then the Dvivachanam Rasau and Bahu Vachanam Rasan. Okay, that's fine. So all you need to say is Akarantaha, Pullingaha, Rasa Shabdaha, Dvitiya Vibhaktihi, Eka Vachanam, Rasam. Then you say Rasam, Rasau, Rasan. That's and the Shabdam, the, the pattern of that Shabda should be in your mind. I don't want you to say Eka Vachanam, Rasam, Dvivachanam, Abdi, Avasimila. That pattern uh, and the Shabda Thunudi pattern, Lavandapur. Okay. Ha, Gandham. Someone else? Gandham, uh, gan, Akaranta Pullinga, uh, Gandha Shabdaha, um, 
ದ್ವಿವಚನ ದ್ವಿವಚ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಗಂಧಂ ಗಂಧಂ ಗಂಧೌ ಗಂಧಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಏಕವಚನ ಗಂಧಂ ಗಂಧೌ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಅಪ್ಡೇ ಉಟ್ರ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಅಥವಾ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಗಂಧ ಶಬ್ದ ದಟ್ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸುಜನ್ ಮೋದಿ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೈ ಶಬ್ದ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಶಬ್ದ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಶಬ್ದ 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 ಸಾರಿ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಶಬ್ದ ಶಬ್ದ ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಏಕವಚನ ಶಬ್ದ 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 ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಶೈಲಜಾ ಮೋದಿ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ನಪುಂಸಕಲಿಂಗ ಕರ್ಮ ಶಬ್ದ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಮಣಿ ಕರ್ಮಾಣಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ try to write these in the format that we have sent now you tried it out for dvitiya vibhakti in class uh, write out the format for both tritiya vibhakti and saptami vibhakti do it as an oral exercise first or even if you do it as an oral exercise that's fine like shirasa sakarantah napunsakalingah shiras shabdah ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಏಕವಚನ ಶಿರಸ ಶಿರೋಭ್ಯಾಂ ಶಿರೋಭಿ ನೌ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಶಬ್ದ ಮಂಜುರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಯಾ ಸೊ ಮೇ ಬಿ ನಾಟ್ ಶಿರಸ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ಟು ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಲಂತ ಶಬ್ದ ವಿರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಲಂತ ಶಬ್ದ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಜಂತ ಶಬ್ದ ಸೊ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಶರೀರ ಅವಯವೈ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಕರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಪ್ತಮಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೌ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಶಿರಸಿ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಪ್ತಮಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಓಕೆ uh for these sent for these words try to do that as an oral exercise or you can combine together uh, after class or later another day and do it amongst yourselves okay now we'll move on to the next lesson um anybody wants to do it today someone who is probably not done uh, you can start reading panchadash paatha now we are going to a small story here okay this is a very famous story ಕಾಕಾಯಂ ವಡೆಯಂ ಅಂದ ಅಪೂಪಂ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಕ್ರೋ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೌತ್ ಅಪೂಪಂ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೌತ್ ಬಡ ಜನರಲಿ ಅಪ್ಪಂ ಸೊಲ್ವೋ ತಮಿಳ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಕಾಲ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ದ ಕ್ರೋ ಟು ಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಲ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಡೌನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಓಕೆ ಹಾ ಪಂಚದಶ 
kaha cha ah so gam jambu kaha cha jambu kaha is a jackal or a fox ka kaha kaschit apupam apahrutya agataha Mm. Now we are getting introduced to a lot of words, pratyayas, different types of expressions. Like, uh, but we won't go into each and every word for now. But we will get to it at some point. Okay. For now, if you understand the meaning of it, it's fine. And each one we will deal it separately as a grammar lesson. Okay. Kakaha kaschit. A crow. Some crow. Apupam apakhritya. It took uh, an apupam. Apupam is uh, English language. Roti. Huh? roti ka? Ah, roti. Okay, fine. We can no, no, but roti. I have one question. Um, huh. Can I interpret it as ka kaha kaschit apupam uh, aparhitya agataha or does it have to be kaschit ka kaha apupam aparhitya? Ah, good question. Ag- so this kaschit is also in Prathama Vibhakti. If it has to be an adjective of apupam, it would have been kanchit apupam apahritya. Mm-hmm. So, kaschit ka kaha, some uh, crow, one crow, mm-hmm. took a small, uh, let's say, we'll take it as roti for now, apupam apahritya. Apahritya, uh, after grabbing it, agataha, it came. What is the root for, for root word for apahrutya? Ah, apa is the upasargam. Hridhatu. Har, harati. Apaharati. So kakaha kaschitu apupam apaharati. It uh, grabs a, a, an apupam and then it comes. Asaha agataha. And it came. So this is in past tense here. Okay. Okay. When you have kta pratyaya, it's actually in past tense. Saha apupam. Apahritya is so unfair. You cannot pay money and then buy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Huru means buying? No, no, no. <laughs> She's just saying, why, why should it grab? <laughs> uh, Saha, Saha apupam bhakshitum vrukshasya shakhayam upavishtaha. Hmm. Try the meaning of this. Uh, saha that apupam vada whatever puri vada. Ah, now saha is in prathama vibhakti apupam is in vitya vibhakti ah, so he wanting to eat bhakshaitum bhakshaitum is, is lot lakara no it is not lot lakara it is uh-huh. tumun pratyaya so there is a difference between tumun uh-huh. and okay. lyap here okay yeah, yeah. so here yeah. is after doing it here it is in order to eat Mm, yeah. So, saha apupam bhakshaitum. In order to eat that apupam, Rukshasya shashti bhakti, mm. um, shakha yam, which is branches. On the branch. Oh, on Sabtami the vibhakti bhavati. Saptami vibhakti eka vachanam. So, shakha yam. Mm. Shakha yam. Upavishtaha is verb sat, I think. Ah, so. Sat. So, he is, uh, in order to eat the apupam, he sat on the branch of a tree. Oh, Shakayam is branch, not branches. Okay, Shakayam. Mm. Okay. Uh-huh. If you look at Akaranta Strilingam Shakha Shabdaha, Akaranta Strilingaha Shakha Shabdaha, Saptami Vipakti Ekavachana Matra. Yeah. What do you have to do with this? Shakhasu. Shakayam. Shakayoho. Shakhasu. ओके अत्रांतरे जम्बू कह कस्चित तत्र आगता हा अत्र अंतरे अत्रांत करेक्ट स्प्लिटिंग इस राइट बट अत्रांतरे इज यूजुअली एस एन एक्सप्रेशन इट मींस मीनवाइल अंतरम इज इन बिटवीन अंतरा इज एक्चुअली इन बिटवीन अत्र अंतरे इन बिटवीन दिस होल एपिसोड सो अत्रांतरे मीनवाइल जम्बू कह इस फॉक्स प्रथमा विभक्ति कस्चित तत्र फ्रॉम समवेर कस्चित कस्चित जम्बू कहा सो जम्बू कहा कस्चित सम फॉक्स तत्र आगता तत्र आगता केम देर केम देर 
Mm. There, Tatra is there, yeah. Saha Kakasya Muke Apupam Apashyat. This is mm. Saha that mm. Kakasya Shashti Bhakti Kakaha Muke Saptam Bhakti Mukham mm. uh, Apupam Apashyat. Vitya uh, uh, Bhakti Apashyat is verb. Okay. Now tell me the meaning of the sentence. It has the, that uh, crow's uh, inside the mouth of that crow. It has seen Apupam. Ah, now the mistake you're doing here is you're taking Saha as an adjective for Kakasya. Ah, my bad. Yeah, 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 my bad. Yeah. It's fox. Yeah. Ah, so Saha indicates the fox which is there in the earlier sentence. Yeah. Okay. So the fox saw the the he saw the apupam in the mouth of the kaka. Uh, so the how pro. do you how do you know that? Right now you corrected me, but how do how do we figure that out that that saha is not for kakasya and it's for fox? Ha, because it will be in tasya kakasya mukhe. That will also take, if it is an adjective to kaka, huh? okay, it fine. will also take up that. So when I say saha kaka, huh? Tasya kakasya, tam kakam. Everything will follow the same vibhakti there. Okay. Hmm. Tam apahrut, apahartum, hmm. jambu kaha upayam achintayat. Ah, achintayat. Achintayat. Hmm. Tam, that means tam means uh, dhutya bhakti. Apupam. So, from Apupam. the earlier sentence, Apupam Apahartum. Apaharut, apahartum. Uh, I think that is the same Tuman Shabda for Apaharutya. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Jambu Kaha, that fo uh, the fox. Hmm. Upayam, an idea. Hmm. Uh, upayam is. Uh, Correct. Dutya idea. Bhakti, right? Yes, Dutya Vibhakti. Correct. Yeah. A achintyam, it thought about it. A achintayat. Awesome. Achintaya. Past tense, Langlakaraha. So, tam apahartum in order to grab that uh, apupam. Jambukaha, the fox, thought of an idea, upaya. Do you want me to continue? or you mm, want to... Do you want to go through some of the words that are here? So, now? Uh, one, uh, yeah. one question. Hmm. So, there is one subject, Jambukaha. Yes. But are there two objects? Huh. So, this, this tam... Yes, there are two objects, but both of the objects have different verbs. So, tam achintayatna, tam apahartu. This is the verb form that has tam as an adjective here. So, tam apahartu, which means apupam apahartu, in order to grab that uh, uh, roti. Upayam achintayat. It thought of an idea. So, idea upayaha is an object for chintana. It is an object for thinking. Whereas apupam or tam is an object for grabbing. Apaharana. That yeah. makes sense? Yeah. yeah. We'll go but with the story. Uh, I remember Haridas, he is mentioning that there can only be one verb uh, in a sentence and one subject. Is that, is that correct? Uh, maybe I am misunderstood. Probably he didn't uh. say that. <laughs> uh, Okay. No, no. I, I, so you can have, it depends on the context. You can have two, uh, yeah. like in uh, two different kartas, you can, maybe you can have Ramahacha, Lakshmanahacha, uh, Agachatam. You can have like that, right? Both Rama and Lakshmana went, yes. or Rama, Ramascha, Lakshmanascha, Sitaacha, uh, Agachan, all of them went. So there can be two, three kartas. Uh, karma also. I am seeing a tree, a, a picture and a fruit. So, aham, uh, vriksham, chitram, phalam, cha pashyami. There can be three objects that I am viewing. Okay. Huh. Thank you. Oh, we'll go on to the next uh, paragraph. Huh. Saha. Saha kakam prati evam Avadat hmm. Kakaha Kaka Kaka Matula Bhavan Ativa Sundaraha. Hmm. Should I go ahead and uh, uh, actually yeah I will stop it. So Saha Saha is what Saha does it refer jambukaha. to? Ah, jambukaha. 
Kakam Prati. Kakam Prati. Usually Prati is an avyaya which goes with the second vibhakti. So Kakam Prati. Towards the crow. So the, the fox, evam avadat, evam in this manner avadat, he said. So the Jambuka fox or jackal said in this manner towards the crow. Kakam Prati. Uh, try to translate it in your language. Uh, uh, it'll be easier and it'll just come directly. So if I say in Tamil, I would say saha and the idu nari kagatte kuritte evam ibbaru avadatte kuritte. So it will just be directly in the same word order. If it is in English, you will have to do uh, different word orders. Uh, uh, for example, Telugu lo we say saha anakka kaki to ila anindi. So, but uh, there we use Tutiya Bhakti, Kakito, and uh, Chilanindi. Right? Oh, um, you use Tritiya there? Yeah. Okay. Not know. with yeah. the crow. Towards the crow, you'll have to say. Here. Yeah, he is not there. I <laughs> think uh, there. there must be another expression for that. Okay. Mm. So again, here's uh, so I always find that Evam a little confusing. Okay, when mm. I when I try to apply it. उसने कौवे के कौवे से ऐसा कहा और इज इट उसने ऐसे उस कौवे उसने कौवे से ही कहा कौवे से ही बिकम्स एव ओके सो काकम प्रति एव विदाउट दिस डॉट ऑन द टॉप देन दैट मींस ओनली कौवे से ही कहा if you are taking it as evam aise kaha okay ha evam is different from eva oh, really? eva okay, is okay, okay. Ha, okay. eva is uh, uh, an avadharana where you are saying um, if i say saha eva kakam prati avadat uh, ohi uh, kave se aise kaha so right. that that he can go wherever you want in that same manner eva can be attached to anything Right, right, right. And, and that confuses me a lot because I don't understand that application very clearly. Ha, okay, so eva is different. Evam iti itham okay. Aise. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, but But the sentence meaning remains the same even if you remove prati and evam, correct? Uh, kakam avadat um, Saha kakam uh, avadat Saha kakam avadat, you can say, but evam gives it a style, no? Kakam prati yeah. evam avadat. <laughs> and it's, it's like more explanatory. Okay. Hmm. No, no, not only. In this manner. Oh, in this manner. Uh, mm -hmm. Only, you know, there will be no... It, it, eva is only. Whereas here you have evam. There is a dot here on top. Evam. Mm -hmm. Iti evam prakarena in this manner itham. Those are two different words completely. Oh, I thought evam is Ditya Bhakti of eva, no? No, no, no. It's an abhyaya. Both are abhyayas. Abhyayas doesn't have any vibhakti, isn't it? No, it doesn't have any vibhakti. Okay, thank you. Evam itam rendu under the courts kumuna words kumuna di porno iti under courts kapram porno. Correct. So, for example, here you have evam avadat would be before the open courts. And then evam avadat iti. You end it with the iti after the courts. Evam porto iti um porno ma. Amosimilla iti vanda. Generally, Vanda. Iti avadatthin vanna polla. So, saha kakam prati. And then you have the conversation and you can end it with iti avadatthin. Can we move on? Kaka. Matula. Matula means uncle, right? Uncle, yes. Okay. So, won't you, you know, when you see someone new and you want to talk to them nicely, would you go and address them, Uncle, can I do this? Can Will you do this for me? You know, that's how the uh, fox is addressing the crow here. Bhavan Ativa Sundaraha. Bhavan is Dvitiya. You. No, no. Bhavan is just Prathama Vibhakti. So, Bhavan. you are very Bhavan. beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah. Ah. Tava 
ವರ್ಣ ಮನೋಹರ ಯುವರ್ ಕಲರ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮನಃ ಹರತಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಪುಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಮನೋಹರ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಓ ಮನಃ ಹರ ಮನೋಹರ ಅಚ್ಚಾ ತವ ಕಂಠಸ್ವರ ಯುವರ್ ತವ ಇಸ್ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರೈಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ತವ ಕಂಠಸ್ವರ ಅತೀವ ಮಧುರ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ no your the the sound of your throat kanthaswara ha Ma- is ah uh, is very sweet sweet uh, okay sweet what is it tava ganam shrotum ichami mm. this is again tuman shabda shrotu shrotum tava gana ganam is song ichami um putta putam purusha ekavachanam so what is the subject of the sentence I, then i like uh, i wa- i want to hear your song mm. your your uh, voice is very sweet and your color is attractive ha uh-huh. so tava ganam shrotum ichami what is the karta for this where is the subject of the sentence aham ha uh, aham is understood here okay so aham tava ganam shrotum ichami i want to listen to your uh, uh, song kripaya ನಿಜಂತ ಆರ್ ಕೌಸಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಮೀ ಲಿಸನ್ ಶೃಣು ಇಸ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಶ್ರಾವಯ ಅಬ್ಡಿನ ಮೇಕ್ ಮೀ ಲಿಸನ್ so karoti so which, which lakara is this it is a, a lot lakara ha so kripaya shravaya so sing make me listen to it in the sense it's oh. it is lot lakara the way it works in sanskritam is first you have normal saha karoti he does the work okay so saha karoti another person the, the teacher makes him do let's say that's how you want to construct the sentence so guru hu tam karayati he makes him do he causes him to do so it becomes a causal form yeah hmm? so the same way here also saha shrunoti aham shrunomi parantu tvam shravaya you will have to say something so that i can listen you will have to make me listen to it ha huh. is clear okay thank you yeah so there what is the uh, subject krupaya shravaya ತ್ವಂ ಶ್ರಾವಯ ಲೋಟ್ಲಕಾರ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಪಠ ಶೃಣು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಲೋಟ್ಲಕಾರ ರೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ವಂ ಮೇಕ್ ಮೀ ಲಿಸನ್ ರೈಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀ ತ್ವಂ ಮಾಂ ಶ್ರಾವಯ ಮೇಕ್ ಮೀ ಇಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಮೀ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ತ್ವಂ ಈಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ತ್ವಂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ from mam shravaya okay hmm. um we can okay just two more sentences let's see yeah kakaha stuti priya um mm-hmm. kakaha is likes uh, to be praised yes stuti priya mm-hmm. saha atmanam ativa sundaram manya manaha mukham what is that vyadaya is it vyadaya yes vyadaya vyadaya gatum arabha arabhata hmm arabhata is started started ah uh, saha atmana... gatum arabhata let's go uh, backwards okay hmm. class by class so yeah. gatum arabhata what does that mean uh, um singing started ah uh, to sing he started to, to sing, sing. Yeah. sing. Hmm? tum yeah. when whenever you have this yeah, tumun yeah. you'll say to, to do that uh, yeah. to sing to so he's how did before that what did he do mukham vyadaya i think opening i think i don't know i never heard yes that. mukham vyadaya after opening its mouth what so after opening the v a v is the upasarga ang is the upasarga and then you have da datu da datu okay hmm da da is your datu here so we ang i'm i think it's given here 
no it's not given they you just understand it as those words you don't they're, go they're into give it the... as avya yani that's all yeah it's because tumun avya. yeah tumun lyap twa these are all avyayas acha hmm? so mukham vyadaya gatum arabhata after opening its mouth it started want started to sing so what did what was it going on in his mind when he started to sing so saha that crow kakaha atmanam ativa sundaram manyamanah manyamanah thinking this is another pratyaya here called chanach pratyayam which is like a continuous thing thinking that thinking himself to be very beautiful because the uh, jackal was praising it by saying that tava varnah manoharah tvam tu ativa sundarah and your uh, voice is also very sweet so this crow thought of itself as very beautiful so atmanam himself ಅತೀವ ಸುಂದರ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮನ್ಯಮಾನ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮುಖಂ ವ್ಯಾದಾಯ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೌತ್ ಗಾತು ಆರಭತ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ಮಾನಂ ಇಸ್ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಆತ್ಮಾನಂ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಎಸ್ ಸುಂದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಅತೀವ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಭ್ಯಯ so it won't change okay and manyamanah is uh, prathama prathama as an adjective for saha kakah so thinking so, so. doing is it am i interpreting it right vah apne bahut sundar mukh ko khol kar gaane laga ನೈ 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 ಆಪನೆ ಆಪತ್ ಸುಂದರ ಮನ್ಯಮಾನ ಸಮಜ ಕರ್ ಸಮಜ ಕೆ ಮುಖ ಖೋಲ್ ಕರ್ ಗಾನೆ ಕೆ ಆರಂಭ but but you said manyamana is verb isn't it madam yes so it's a it's not exactly a verb um in the sense you understand it as verb but it has been transformed into a noun okay, uh, to indicate the uh, 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 yeah. karta yeah. noun form yeah. of the verb got it yeah mm. yes it is a noun form of the verb saha manyamana okay but it will still act as a verb so okay. when you when you think of gerund uh, in english if you if you have read jenner renan i have read it i will go through it yeah <laughs> renan martin padicha or it effect gerund nu or there is one thing uh, okay. uh, grammar <laughs> you can look at that also i'll go through that yeah ha huh. next but the it. main verb is arabhasa arabhata arabhata is your main verb yes okay next sentence kakasya hmm. mukhat hmm. yada apupam ಅಪೂಪಃ ಭೂಮೌ ಅಪಾತ ತದ ತಂ ಗೃಹಿ ಜಂಬೂಕ ಜಂಬೂಕ ಪಲಾಯಿತ ಜಂಬೂಕ ಪಲಾಯಿತ ಐ ಐ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಕಸ ಮುಖಾತ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ಮೌತ್ ಮುಖಾತ್ ಯದ ಅಪೂಪಂ ವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಪೂಪಂ ವೆನ್ ಅಪೂಪ ವೆನ್ ದ ರೋಟಿ bhumau is a uh, uh, bhumau on the ground oh saptami hmm saptami oh, okay so bhu what is the dhatu for that bhu na na saptami epdi dhatu arka mudiyum saptami vibhakti no so it's a noun right right um, bhumi ikarantah I mean, root word ikarantah yeah ikarantah strilingah bhumi shabdah ಸಪ್ತಮಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಏಕವಚನ ಭೂಮಿ ಭೂ ಈಕಾರಂತ ಈಕಾರಂತ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಈಕಾರಂತ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಸಾರಿ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಫೆಲ್ ಪಪಾತ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಫೆಲ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ತದ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ತಮ್ ಗೃಹಿ ದಟ್ ಅಪೂಪಂ ಇಟ್ ಗೃಹಿ ಜಂಬೂಕ ಪಲಾಯತಿ ಜಂಬೂಕೇನ ವಂಚಿತ ಕಾಕ ಪಶ್ಚಾತ್ ದುಃಖಿತ ಜಂಬೂಕೇನ ವಿತ್ ಬೈ ಬೈ 
so with by with through all okay. three can be the meaning so contextually you have to understand here by so by fox, the fox cunning vanchita is cunning cheated so this is an adjective to kakaha being cheated by the fox kakaha the crow oh vanchita kakaha acha mm. mm. oh the offended kaka or cheated kakaha ah. that's all okay Correct. by jambu kena mm. paschat afterwards paschat afterwards it became dukhitah it became sad so being cheated by the uh, the, the crow cheated by the, the fox became sad afterwards paschat afterwards mm. so supposing yeah, i want to say um, roti se vanchit kawwa uh, baad mein dukhi hua so mm. roti so apupen vanchitah ka kaha paschat dukhitah is also correct ah correct so apupena vanchitah is correct and jambukena vanchitah is also correct so apupena vanchitah is uh, uh, it doesn't it's not meaning an animate correct, thing yeah. for yeah, meaning is not correct uh, right you Malay, you're he got separated from the uh, apupa that's why he is upset so how would i say that Uh, that is different so apupat virahitaha being separated from the uh, uh, this thing so the construct is still is different you are going to use different words for that okay okay so it is panchami vibhakti Ap- mm. apupat apupat virahitaha separated virahitaha. Mm. okay okay so i can't use vanchitaha there ah uh, you can because it's not an animate uh, object for you to okay, okay. fit to cheat the crow If at all wa, Apupa wanted to say something, it would only say "Tava Apupam Manoharam." That's all it can say. Huh? I did not get If, it. If uh, Apupa wanted to do the once in a of the kaka, what can it say? <laughs> Because Jackal had already said all the things. You are say. imagining a situation where this it's like a cartoon where this Apupa itself is one. Uh, it has mouth no, and no, eyes I, and all into this talking no i just wanted to say uh, that uh, like in no, no. you can say roti se vanchit hu ka kawwa bahut baad mein dukhi hua so the idea that you are trying to ask is in in uh, english also we have this usage he was cheated of the uh, food yeah the the, the, the <laughs> yeah so exactly. you can use apupat vanchitah so you can't use uh, apupena vanchitah because it apupat should be a kar- right huh. okay 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 uh, madam here paschat is the panch is that panchami vibhakti here no it is an abhyaya no. you will find abhyaya. the list of uh, abhyayas here and paschat would be listed there the only way to know this is by experience right that you yes. come across and you know that it's not okay yes now see and it's also listed in the end of this uh, lesson uh, what is kridanta what is abhyam we'll go through this vyakaranam uh, in the next two lessons it will take two lessons for us to cover all the vyakarana aspects in this okay sure. so this is all abhyayas as you read you will uh, uh, become familiarized with these words and understand yeah vanchaka priyam vadanti बुद्धिमान बुद्धिमान न श्रुणुयात पंचका आदि चीटर प्रियम चीटर्स पंचकाः या त्रिलिंगम और न न वंचकः एव सो वंचकाः पुल्लिंग प्रियम लविंग आई थिंक स्वीट और व्हाट एवर प्रियम वदन्ति इज या प्लूरल फॉर्म ऑफ वदन्ति बुद्धिमान न श्रुणुयात I don't know what is buddhiman. Ah, so buddhiman is an intelligent person. Yeah, yeah I got it. I I don't know the grammar. No. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So buddhiman is a nakarantaha, pullingaha, buddhiman. Le. Nakarantaha, tadhi tadhi. Nakarantaha le. Buddhimat ama. Nakaran. Buddhimat. I think buddhimat is. Yeah, yeah buddhimat. Nakaranta pullingaha, buddhimat chabdaha. बुद्धिमान बुद्धिमंतो बुद्धिमंतः करेक्ट बुद्धिमान इज द्वितीय विभक्ति इजन इट न प्रथम विभक्ति वंचकाः प्रियं वदन्ति बुद्धिमान न श्रुणुयात ही शुड नॉट लिसन श्रुणुयात इज विधिलिंग वी हैव रेड लोट लकारः नाउ दिस इज विधिलिंग विधिलिंग इज आल्सो अनदर लकारा दैट यू हैव टू लर्न फॉर दिस सो लेट लंग लोट विधिलिंग हम्म i i showed you in that datu roopam right 
So the fourth one is Vidhili. Kuryat. Kuryat. Ah, Bhuyat. Um, Sukham. Adena? Bhuyat. 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 Sukham Bhuyat. Adh. Or a shloka mirke. Sa Dukkha Bhag Bhavet. Maa kasti Dukkha Bhag Bhavet. Adh. Priyam Bhuyat. Ah, that is also there. Okay. Priyam Bruyat is also there. There is one famous shlokam. Mahakaschit Dukkha Bhagavata Nevardhenaka. First line is Varmati Gherde. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. Haan, Sarve Bhavantu Lavanda Ana. It is uh, Lot Lakara. Sorry. Yeah. I think Priyam Bruyat na, uh, priya, uh, Satyam Bruyat Priyam Bruyat Na Bruyat Satyam Priyam. That Bruyat is uh, should speak. So this is uh, like in uh, uh, it is vidhiling. So, buddhiman na shrunayat, he should not listen. Na is a negative thing which will, you will always try to connect it with a verb. Never try to connect it with a noun. Wherever you find the na, always try to pull it to your verb and say he doesn't do it. Vanchakaha priyam badanti, cheaters speak very sweetly, but buddhiman na shrunayat, an intelligent person does, should not listen. Vidhi. It is an order here. So we've just gone through the lesson here as such. Next we will do, uh, in the next two, we will go over some of the words that are here in this lesson. Okay.